So we have seen like crazy reality stars here tonight, like yeah. Kenya Moore, more hair products. Okay, let me tell you that her husband Mark is like super amazing and super sweet. Very handsome. Very handsome. Very, very handsome. Her daughter, absolutely amazing, oh. beautiful. You know, Brookie just makes you want to melt. And she walks really well. But Kenya, uh, okay. you, you know, we're not going to comment. Um, I don't know if she was in the bad mood today, but... Actually, today was probably a good move for her. Yeah. I'm not impressed. I'm so sorry to say. Um, I do like her. Um, I do kind of look up to her. However, coming from London, it's very disappointing when you... Especially, I'm in, I'm in media, you know. When you meet certain people and they... Um, it just let you down. Mm. Personality. Yeah. Just let you down. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But she's speechless. I just hope that next time she'll be a little bit nicer. Keep up alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the thing oh. is, what people don't understand is your attitude follows you, and just because you're on TV or you're doing certain, you know, activities or whatsoever doesn't give you the right to treat people a certain way um, everyone's important in life uh, you don't know who's who and you don't know who can do what for you when and how so you have to be respectable and welcoming to everyone you meet because you cannot choose who God chooses to bless you so you got to be nice at all times at all times okay now black China I can't tell if she was being nice today or if she was just being standoffish because she didn't have any makeup. Like, she didn't have her lashes. I think she was uncomfortable because she wasn't looking as glamorous as she normally does. Now, I honestly believe that she came out of obligation because she probably got paid and she had to come. And I don't actually think she came because she wanted to come. I think she came because otherwise she'll get sued. So that's why she came. And she came and then she's, she's uncomfortable because she doesn't look the way that she wanted to look. I believe that if she looked the way she normally does look, she would have been a complete different person. Yeah. She would have been a much, much, much nicer. She would have taken a lot more pictures. There's like a bunch of lashes places around here. There's makeup all around. Like yeah, but you could they could have stopped at some booths. She didn't want to be here, you know? So okay. I think that's what it was and I don't understand the whole entourage thing, and it's like... And Yandy, a gold star. Yandy is Yandy. the class act. I love Yandy, always nice. Every time I see her, respectful, she speaks so well. Um, I can't say anything negative about her. She's been really nice, and today she came to promote her skincare. Um, she did a few interviews and stuff. She spoke, she spoke to everyone, and you know, she's very respectful. Lovely, lovely woman. And Lil Mama was just pushing her brand, okay? Yep. Lil Mama, if Lil Mama didn't make like $8,000 selling them lashes today, I then I don't know. a lot of money today because she, you know, we, I saw her, she was working, what not? She was doing a little day. Couple hours later, I'm like, what, she's still studying? <laughs> she's still working. No, she's, she she's working. <laughs> she's working. <laughs> she came here to not play. Shekana Joe, she was working. She was working. Um, Keisha Kior. Yeah, she was doing her thing. And you know, you, you managed to catch that moment when she had that nice little sister moment with that girl. That yeah. was really nice, you know. You know, it's just, it's, 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 yeah, you know, I mean, I don't see why we can't just be like how Keisha right. was with that lady. I don't, I don't see what's the big deal, you know. Like this is a professional environment. You have a booth, you came here to sell, to see people. Sell, see the people, love the people because the people are here they for, you. for you. They came for you, they took their time and they're spending their money on you. Come on now, yes. come on. So, you know, we're not gonna call out any cloud chasers at the Brown and Brothers Hair Show. We hope everybody is chasing clouds so that they can make money, but yeah, when we're not on campus though, like not in this building, and LA is not sitting across from us, oh, we about to tell you all the real, okay? Offline. But today we're just gonna say like, everybody chase cloud, okay? 
Just do anything for Cloud at the hair show when you're trying to sell. Just do it. Do it. I don't really know about this whole. You did have to pick a cloud chaser. What? From today? Yes. Kenya. <laughs> Kenya Moore is our Saturday winner that did anything for cloud. Let's just form a line here. Let's form a line. No, 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 no but why did she come anyway? I don't know. That's what, that's why. I questions? Said. Any questions? Why did she come anyway? And then I had a question, and she's like, you came to be here's seen. the product, just take you, it. You came to be seen, and people are coming to you, and that's how you're behaving. Well, I don't know. That's, that, why are you here, then? Yeah, we're, com we're totally confused. I'm confused. Okay, you guys, that ends the segment of Do Anything for Clout. We're going to go out with a commercial from our sponsors. Follow Ashley DeLamode on Instagram. That's Ashley DeLamode. <laughs> yeah, and JoJo in these streets. But, you know, next week I'm going to have a do anything for clout. Um, I'm going to turn it up. We turn it up for to a whole new level. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have the Instagram for you later.